One of the smart lists that TickTick has is not necessarily a smart list in my opinion, but it is a very useful tool. And that is the summary smart list. You can see over on the left navigation pane that I have the summary smart list enabled. If I click on it, here's what the little description at the top says. Help to review your work and efficiency in specific period. You can edit and copy it from here or export it into different formats based on your needs. So what it has is basically a summary of tasks within a specific period that were either completed, marked as won't do, or are still yet to be completed, so they're undone. Now we can change up at the top using this drop-down list the period that we're looking at. We can look at just today, yesterday, this week, last week, and so forth, and you can even choose a custom date range. If I switch the date range, you can see that the summary below switches as well, corresponding with that date range. I'm gonna leave this at this week. Another option on the next dropdown is which lists are included. By default, it's all lists, but you can filter to a specific list if you want to, or specific lists. I'm gonna leave this at all lists for now. Now another thing you'll notice is that the summary is within a text editor type window, meaning I can come in here and add some notes. I can format these notes. And I can add checklists and bullet points to this summary. But some other cool features that you might not have noticed, if you look over at the upper right corner, there's a couple of icons here. So this icon you might have seen before, this is the sort icon. So we can choose how this list is sorted. By default, it's by completion status, but we can choose by list, completion date, task date, etc. Uh, let's just change this now to by list. You can see that once I've changed the sort order, my notes that I've added to that summary uh, disappear. So you need to sort it the way you want it to be sorted first before you start adding additional notes to it. The second icon over here in the upper right corner is the details that you want included. So right now we have the completion date and we have the progress, but we can also include detail, focus data, and list. Let's just choose detail and focus data. And now you can see additional details were added to the summary. Once we have a summary that we like, we can do a couple of things with it. We can click this export button down here at the bottom and we can export this summary to a PDF, to an image, or we can send an email. Let's try to export it to an image and see what happens. It's prompting me to save the image, so I'll go ahead and save this image in my downloads. And now let's take a look at it. So this is just a PNG file, which looks like the, uh, the summary that was on the screen. Uh, nothing unexpected there. Let's go ahead and close that out. The other option that you have is just to copy everything that's listed here. And you can either copy it in Markdown, rich text, or plain text. If I was gonna send an email to my manager, for example, I would probably choose copy the rich text, then open Gmail or whatever email client you normally use, and just come over to the body of the email and say, here is my summary for the week. And then I press Control V to paste. And it gives my manager a nice summary of what my progress has been this week, uh, what I've completed, what I decided not to do, and what items I've left undone. So again, this summary smart list, not necessarily a smart list in my opinion, however, it is a very useful tool within TickTick. -Tick.